Good to be back. Well, today is the, like a hot topic is the doc, President Donald Trump just said that uh, Rex Tillerson was out as the Secretary of State and the CIA Director Michael will be announced as the top U.S. diplomat. And it's not unexpected, but it's still surprising. What do you think? I don't think it was surprising. You know, I think it was expected. Maybe the timing was, you know, was a surprise, but uh, basically it was expected. And um, you know, I think the the real question here is, and the real problem, I should say, not the question, but the real problem is that we're going from a moderate to a hawk, and um, you know, uh, that means that um, uh, perhaps. Uh, uh, we're going to see more and more tariffs and we're going to see more and more hardline diplomatic uh, uh, relations uh, taking place in yeah. the future. So you think this high profile can overwhelm the the U.S. and uh, this kind of stance to be more hawkish in the near term or in the future? Um, to, I think probably in the future. Uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the near, very near term, probably, you know, not much is going to change, but um, you know, uh, six months down the road, things will change. How, how do you see this turnover um, have impact on the market volatility as well? Uh, well, I think, you know, uh, the market is going to stay volatile because uh, uh, the prospects of uh, tariffs are going to be a very are a sticky point for the market. And I think that's going to keep the market on edge. Um, you know, and, and we're witnessing that. I mean, we've had, um, since the correction, uh, we really haven't had uh, any clear direction in the market. Uh, you lose two, three percent, then you come back and you go back and forth. And so it's basically somewhat of a trader's delight, but things are not really moving. Yeah. So what, then, uh, from your point of view, what is the key factor in today's trade and what are your thoughts on the near-term and long-term trade? Well, I think the market is just going to stay ch choppy. I don't think we're headed for a severe correction at this time. A lot depends on uh, whether or not Mr. Trump continues to uh, get tough on tariffs. Um, if he does uh, place tariffs on the EU and China, uh, then I think um, we could be headed for a serious market decline. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, um, he's using this, I believe, as a bargaining tool uh, to win over concessions. I think that's his style. As, as, especially from uh, uh, the NAFTA group, you know, Mexico and, uh, um, and Canada. Um, and I think the same applies to the EU and the same applies to China. So if there can be some sort of uh, uh, dialogue where they can reach some agreements, then I think he'll probably just drop tr the, tr the tariffs. Okay, let's switch to the commodity market for the, in the energy sector. And oil market we notice that have been more closely tied with other assets in recent weeks, especially the currencies and the equity stocks. So how do you see this uh, situation right now? Yeah, well, you know, that's exactly what's happening in the oil market. It has nothing to do with its fundamentals. The fundamentals are improving on a daily basis, you know. The market is probably near rebalanced or is rebalanced. Uh, demand is strong. Uh, at one point or another, uh, we're going to probably have a, a, a crisis of scarcity. Uh, and uh, we're going to see oil prices really leap much higher. But for now, uh, the market is being driven by external factors, by uh, the equity markets, uh, by the dollar, uh, and also uh, by the fears of tariffs. Because, uh, again, if we should get into a trade war, um, you know, a trade war is not going to be good in terms of economic uh, activity. Uh, there'll be a slowdown in the global economy. It's certainly going to hit the United States, and that means that demand is going to lessen for energy. So that's the greatest fear. 
but it has nothing to do really with fundamentals. fundamentals for sure, yeah. And then, uh, what, what is your opinion, your professional opinion on the uh, the trading in the uh, in the oil sector, so especially? Do you think there's a correlation with the currencies and the equities? If we I think see? it's going to, you know, I think that'll be around until we can uh, see where investors? we're going with the with the uh, with the tariffs. Where, where should the investors should pay more attention on the on the? You think it's the currency still? Uh, moves well, uh, well I, I, you know, I, I think the dollar has further down to go, not because of its fundamentals, mm -hmm. but because the administration wants sure. the dollar yeah. to go lower. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, I, uh, if the dollar goes lower, that will be positive for commodities in general, especially for oil. So how does the ongoing geopolitical risk uh, acting on the gold market, especially uh, President Donald Trump, like uh, to have the like the talks in the futures with the North Korea. Yeah, well, you know, um, that's a big step. Uh, first time any president since the Korean War has uh, engaged in such a, uh, a summit. Um, if Mr. Trump is successful, then I think, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be uh, very positive for the markets. Okay, what's your view on the moment I mean the good prices before the like the solid talks? Yeah, you, you're asking about gold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, gold is trapped, you know. Um, we're trapped in a, in a, a trading range between 1300 and 1350. Um, technically, it has a hard time getting above this 1350 uh, uh, from a uh, uh, from a strong point view, it has a solid base around that low 1300 area. The problem with gold is that um, it's being actually driven by hedge funds. And the hedge funds have, a, have huge positions and, and have a lot of money. And so they can basically uh, trade it back and forth and they basically are keeping it within a trading range. So, uh, what do I say to my clients and to my investors? You should have always a certain amount of gold in your portfolio, sure. anywhere from 10 to 15%, even if it's dead money, because you never know. Uh, if something happens yeah. and you have a major crash in the stock market, you're gonna have sort of a hedge. And um, yeah, so, for sure. yeah, yeah, especially yeah. In this, uh, I mean, picture. it's not an, inf and it's not for the moment an, impl an inflation play. It's just a hedge play against, uh, you know, anything that could erupt, any geopolitical problem that could erupt and have a serious consequence.